Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z. Today I got another one-off game for you uh, from the history of baseball. Um, and we're going to do the 1921 Chicago Cubs visiting the 1955 Philadelphia Phillies. So as you can see on the mound today will be Pete Alexander for Chicago and Robin Roberts for the Phillies. I will be controlling the Phillies. The computer will be taking the Cubs. So let's get into that. And uh, as you can see, we are in Veterans Stadium. I know that the Phillies did not play in Veterans Stadium in 1955, but I wanted to get some type of a historical stadium to play in. <clears throat> um, and uh, this was the best that I could do with what I had. So we will get started. Now I go, okay, here we go. And the first pitch from Robin Roberts looks like it's going to be a fly out. The Phillies in 1955 were 77, <coughs> excuse me, 77 and 77, 500 record back before they played 162 games. And Holucker is going to ground out to Blaylock at first, and now uh, Tom Willie is up. Two down. And uh, looks like that might be a fly out to Ashburn. No, it falls in for a single. And that brings up Ray Grimes. And that looks like it's going to hopefully be a fly out to Ennis. And, uh, yeah, it is. So we got Richie Ashburn at the plate leading off for us. Against Pete Alexander, who drank a lot. I know that much about him. Um, but not much else. I mean, he was good, that too. Um, so we've got Marv Blaylock, the first baseman up. And that will be a fly out to Flack. And Ennis is up, the left fielder. And did he get a hit? He did. And that brings up Willa Jones. And Willie Jones looks like he lined out. So. The Cubs are back up at the plate in the top of the second with Charlie Deal up. Charlie, what's the deal? And he's going to strike out, it looks like. And that brings up Flack. Right fielder. Robin Roberts pitch well here so far. Ground out to Blaylock. And that brings up Bob O'Farrell. And he gets a single to left field, giving way to Zeb Terry. And Zeb Terry, what did he do? He's out. All right, good. So we got Seminick, the catcher, to play. He's going to bounce out to Terry. Green, green grass is up. The green, green grass of home. Jim Greengrass. And he flies out. That brings up Roy Smalley. Not that Roy Smalley, but that's the wrong photo. It's actually Roy Smalley. That Roy Smalley's father. And he is going to hit one deep, deep into the gap. Over the head, um, I'm going to say no. Not in advance, we need to try to knock him in. 
with Bobby Morgan. What happened? He walked, but now, unfortunately, that brings up Ron Roberts. Roberts. He hit it up the middle, but they got it. And so now Robin Roberts is dealing to Pete Alexander, who hopefully did not have an alcoholic breakfast, or hopefully did have an alcoholic breakfast. And then that brings up Turner, Turner Barber, quite the name. And he flies out to Annis with Alexander aboard, and then Holocker is on. Is up. It looks like he's going to ground possibly into a double play. Like, no, he gets, he, he got an infield single, it looks like. He bought, no, it was an error, he bobbled it. Twombly is up. Is that a line out? And that is a line out, and that brings up Ray Grimes. This could be the Cubs' best chance to score. And if it is, it just went by the boards. And now we're back at the top of the order with Richie Ashburn. Richie Ashburn, as you will recall, was on the 1962 Mets, <clears throat> I believe. And that brings up Blaylock. We got Ashburn aboard. Blaylock up, no outs. Need to do something here. Other than hit a fly ball to Flack, which is apparently what we did. He dropped it. Did he drop it? No. So Ennis is up. And Ennis is doing, you know, I've been playing a lot of out of the park lately. And I am noticing how, as compared to out of the park, once the action starts, Stratomatic seemed to be in slow motion. And I know you can, I think you can make it faster, but still. So that brings up Charlie Deal. Charlie, what's the deal? And he is out. And that brings up Flack with one down. We're in the fourth, and there is no score, and each team has three hits. But we have an error. And deal, or Flack. Flack just laced a base hit with one down, and O'Farrell is up. O'Farrell looks like he's going to ground out short. And did they get the double play? No. And Terry up his plate. And Terry's going to line out to Morgan. So we're up with Andy Semenik at the plate. Yeah, it's odd when you switch between games, because in one game, you're like, you have to click anywhere to get the action to initiate. Strat, you have to click on the swing away box. Semenik got aboard. So we got green grass up. But it looks like he's going to be retired. Roy Smalley is up. Or Roy Smalley's son, whichever one you want to um, think it is. And he laces a base hit. So we got two runners on at the corners. Runners at the corners with Bobby Morgan up. And Bobby Morgan is going to go deep. Maybe a double, maybe a home run. And no, it's just a fly ball. But it is a sacrifice fly, and it does get us the first run of the game. For either team. And now, again, Robert's up. Looking to end the rally, and he does. So, Pete Alexander's up. Funny how it works out that way. Roberts was up last time, and then Pete Alexander. 
top of the next inning, and that's exactly what happened again. And Ryan Alexander got on for the second time this game. So we've got Barber. What's going on here? I guess the um, fielder's choice moved Alexander to second. So we have a man at second, one down. Holicker up. Holicker looks like he's going to ground out to Smalley, but he makes an error. Or it was an infield hit or something. No, it was an error. So we're looking for the double play right here. And we don't get it. It instead gets a base hit. I'm going to throw for the lead runner. Did we get him? We did. So that's two outs with a man at second Grimes up. And that is going to be a deep fly ball, probably a double, maybe a homer, but probably a double. A triple. It's a triple. And now the uh, Cubs are ahead 2-1 to one with Charlie Deal up. And he is going to hopefully ground out to Jones. And he does. But not before the Cubs strike for 2, two and now Richie Ashburn at the top of the order up at the plate again. We're down by a run. Not too bad. And Ashburn hits one deep. Hopefully that's a double. Uh, I'm going to say yes. Let's try to advance. And it didn't happen. He was out. So Blaylock is up. Probably should not have tried to extend that uh, hit, but it was a 1-16. to I mean, you know, how many people are going to pass that up, extending a hit from 1-16? to And he's out, and Annis is up. And Annis is going to lace it to left field. See, we eventually would have gotten that run, but I was greedy. And we've got Willie Jones up. And Willie Jones is going to bounce out, looks like. And he does. And now that brings up the Cubs and Max Flack. That is really a pretty cool name, Max Flack. He's going to bounce out to Morgan. That brings up O'Farrell. O'Farrell is going to line out to Morgan. And that brings up Zeb Terry. And he should ground out to small. And he does. So again, we have that same lineup of Semenik and maybe somebody else and then Roberts. And I have a friend that says, you know, you're not going to, it doesn't matter who you lead off with because you're not going to have that, you're not going to have that guy lead off every inning. Well, yeah, Jim, Jim Greengrass. And then I think, uh, what's his name is next? Robert Ross is next, I think. And he's out, no, Roy Smalley. But, I mean, my point is that that, it, that same exact line, and he's two for two, that same lineup seems to come up. Now, that time we just avoided Roberts batting, and uh, he will um, see, and, and he's pitching to Alexander leading off, and Alexander, of course, is two for two. So he obviously, well, I don't, I want to say he was obviously not drinking this morning for the game, but he might have actually been drinking this morning before the game and it might have helped. So he was finally out and that brings up Barber. And he hits it to right field or left field. Hits it to left field for a base hit. Barber aboard, Holocker on. Top of the seventh here. It's getting late. It's two to one. 
but it's only two months, so it's not getting too late, although maybe now it is, because Holliker looks to have hit the ball over Ashburn's head. I'm going to try to throw for the runner, because i got to try to throw for the runner. And he was out. So that's two down. And that brings up Trombley. And he is going to hit a maybe a home run or a double. No, he flew out. Good. So you got Ray Grimes up. Still two to one. We know Roberts he was a workhorse, so we know he can go the distance. And uh and he's and he's out. So back to the mound is unfortunately Pete Alexander facing Bobby Morgan. If he gets on, I may have to consider taking Roberts out. But he didn't, so I'm going to let Roberts hit. Although down four to one, not good. Ashburn is. And Ashburn flies out. Max Blaylock is up. So, Blaylock, what did he get? It's gone. It's a home run. And so now we're back in this game. It's 4-3. With Del Lesso. And he's going to ground out to Terry. So, Robert's back out there. He's back in a one-run game. We need to hold it now, though. I'm sorry, but my phone keeps blowing up. I, it always happens to me. Early in the morning, you would think that's the best time to record a video, but it really isn't because everybody in the world wants to text you. Later this afternoon, when I, I could probably play a marathon on my channel and nobody would text me or call me. Bob O'Farrell is up with two down. And that's going to be a base hit for Bob O'Farrell, bringing up Zeb Taylor. Top of the eight game right now, and got some lift on that, but it's going to be a fly ball to Annis. So, Alexander back out to the mound. Not happy to see him back out there. Got Willie Jones up bottom of the eighth. So we only, only have two more innings to try to make this work. And he's out. Semenik is up. And he's going to ground out. And that brings up Greengrass. And he lines out. Well, we might as well send Roberts out there. I doubt he is tired yet. He's pitching to Alexander, two and three. And that's a slow roller. That might be a base hit. But it isn't. So there's one down, Barber up. Chicago ahead, four, three, top of the ninth. And that is and out, and we got Holliker up. I would say Roberts hasn't pitched too badly, but we are definitely going to pinch hit for him when he comes up, and then that brings up, man, he got on. How did he get on? All right, Holliker aboard and Trombley up. Twombley up. Okay, so we got Roy Smalley at the plate. Bottom of the ninth, we're down by one. 
and he's going to ground out. That brings up Bobby Morgan. Bobby Morgan is probably going to ground out, and that brings up Roberts, and we will pinch it for him. Although I don't know now. I mean, we've really got to have a home run. Granny Hamner, I'm going to say no. Um, well, I mean, I'm not definitely saying no, but we need somebody that can hit a home run. Like, uh, like Gorbis. He had five homers in 209, no, five homers in 290 at bats. That's not really good. Uh, nope. Torgerson. Torgerson did not have any home runs, but he did get on base. I guess we'll take it. So Earl Torgerson is going to pinch hit for Robin Roberts. And he does hit a slow roller. Can he beat it out? And he does. It's a base hit. And that brings up Richie Ashburn. We put some hits together here and get that run back. And we, uh, we, we just do it. Let's see, Max Blaylock. He's only one for four today. And that looks like it's going to be an out. And it is. And we lose the game. So here's the box score. In case you're interested, we got nine hits off of Alexander. They got 12 hits off of Roberts. So, not a good one, but I mean, not a good one if you're a Phillies fan, but it was a very good one if you're a Cubs fan. So the 1921 Cubs defeat the 1955 Phillies by the very close score of 4-3. And that is my game from history for this whatever time period until I play another one. And that'll be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.